Just as we did with linear and exponential functions, we can model appropriate data using logarithmic regression. The steps are very similar to the other processes we've used, but there are a few differences, so I want to be sure you understand those. I wanted to show you the actual working out of those steps on the calculator. So in problem 11, we have a data set, and we're wondering if, if it can be well modeled by a logarithmic function. And if so, we need to find that function. So in order to determine if a logarithmic function will effectively model the data, we first need to enter our data into our stat list for L1 and L2. So I've done that here. You might want to pause the recording so that you can enter the values into your list. Remember that if you want to clear a list, you need to scroll to the top until the name of the list is highlighted, then hit clear, and then enter. So once our data is in our list, we're going to go back to our, or go to our y equals menu, turn on our plot, use the arrows, scroll to plot, and then hit enter. Now our plot 1 is turned on. I'm going to use zoom 9, which is the stat zoom, and that's going to give me a picture of my data. If I look at how the data are arranged, it looks like a logarithmic function will model these very nicely. The reason I say that is because the data start off increasing very rapidly and then continue increasing but at a slower and slower rate. That's a classic logarithmic shape. So now that we are pretty sure that a logarithmic model is going to work, we need to find that model. So I'm at step three here in our steps, we're going to go to stat, calc, and then we're going to go down to 9, which is the LN, natural logarithmic regression. I'm going to hit enter, and then hit enter again. It's going to give me the information that you see on the screen. In order to write the actual model, it looks a little bit different than what we had for the other formats. I need to plug in the value of A and the value of B into Y equals A plus B natural log of X. If I do that with the appropriate rounding to four decimals, I get what you see here in step four of the table. Now what I want to do is go back to my y equals and just see visually how well our model actually looks with the data that we got before. So I'm going to enter my model into y equals, so 7.2698 and then natural log of x in my parentheses and then hit graph. So as you can see, the model that our calculator found for us actually does line up pretty well with the data that we're giving, given. Once I have this model then, I can use it to evaluate given an input, find output, or given an output, find input.